Happy Saturday morning and welcome to Home vs. House. I'm Lisa and this is a channel where I share budget-friendly home decor and lifestyle ideas. Guys, today I thought I would bring you a video on my outdoor living space, my kitchen garden, uh, my backyard area. I hope this inspires someone to get started on just putting together your outdoor living space for the summer. So we'll start over in my dining area. I was doing a setup here just for a, um, a brunch. And so I will um, continue doing that. Guys, I use things that I already had. Um, I use this um, plant box here. Um, it was a DIY, it's a toolbox that I painted a couple of years ago and I just stuck a Collier uh, plant in here. And so that's my centerpiece. And then I have a few thrifted um, items. And so these plates were a recent thrift find and I am loving like the details. Guys, this is my quick setup for my brunch. These chairs I recently bought out here. These were my dining room chairs and I got some um, different chairs um, to use in my dining room area. And so I bought those out here. I felt like they worked with the space. They're a combination of metal and wood. And so, and then this is my DIY table um, that I did last year. I used this as a potting table as well. And so here we have it for my brunch. Um, set up so this is what I would call my dining space and then just underneath the stairs I I'm using that as just to store my uh, smoker and a couple of um, gardening tools these stairs lead up to my uh, back porch and then on this wall here I just have a couple of um, um, decor metal decor that I um, have used in the inside of my home um, for many years and I'm just done with it I'm doing something different um, with my inside um, my style have changed a bit on the inside and so I bought them out here then I just have this DIY ladder out here that I'm using to um, hold like my gardening aprons and a couple other things Guys, this uh, stone wall, as I call it, um, I did a little bit ago. This was um, um, this was paver that I used in my fireplace uh, last year, and I just used it here to create this wall. I was really trying to create a barrier so my dog won't get into the garden area. And I have a few of my indoor plants that I have um, sitting out here in this area and guys let me just walk you through um, how my garden is progressing um, so far from the last video I'm definitely seeing some flowers um, and so I know the fruits or the food is soon to come here's my sweet pea got some um, or my snap peas and it's got some flowers on it it actually got some peas on it as well I did not see that yesterday when I did a walkthrough it is I'm so excited about this my um, my kale I actually started um, harvesting my kale this past week where I was coming out here and getting a few leaves for my salads. So super excited. Guys, there is quite a lot of peas on there. I did not see that yesterday when I did my walkthrough. Hmm, I'm super excited. Harvest is coming soon. And here guys are a combination um, of herbs and some perennials as well as some annuals 
Um, so here's my basil and I've already started using my basil um, leaves for cooking and here is my um, cilantro I've already started using those as well I have this other living area here just with a few plants combination of indoor plants um, and just this little nook um, and then I recently bought a citronella plant to keep the mosquitoes away um, and I planted it in this thrifted planter here I did go ahead and use these um, bamboo privacy um, screen I had uh, this was thrifted a few years ago and um, I had it up on my porch um, when I got it and I had since taken it down and it was just sitting in my garage and I thought I would add a little bit of privacy over here so back to my plans here are some sage that I have not started using yet. A mint that came back up from last year. I have a wild onion growing over here. And let's see. Other things that is flowering. So my pumpkin and squash. Actually, these are my squash and I can already see a little squash coming up through here i don't know if you can see it um here it is and lots of flowers guys so again flowers to me just mean that the food is coming soon so i'm super excited this was a matter of a few weeks since the last video lots of flowers in there and this is a combination of some summer squash and pumpkins that i planted alongside here so definitely outdoor living, my food, and a place to hang out. Um, my daughter and I was out here last night just kind of taking in the fresh air and a serene atmosphere. Hopefully you guys can see those beautiful yellow flowers that is making me so excited. And then alongside this um, fence, I have my sunflower. So I decided to do a sunflower patch this year and just uh, um, along this fence. And they are coming up beautifully, nice and tall. Over here, I did do a little DIY um, shade for my lettuce and spinach guys that i also already started using but i just realized this is a really sunny spot in my backyard and so um next year i probably needed to plant those in a bit of a shade but i didn't want to uproot it so i just did this diy um deal and uh, it seemed to be working so far in this patch here, I have a combination of some Cosmo flowers that came back last year, or came back from last year. Some dill that I already started using. Love dill. A little bit more of my cilantro out here. I love putting these in salads and also cooking with them. Here, these are my um, cucumber plants. Again, lots of flowers. My daughter is waiting on my kitchen garden as well too because salad is a big deal for her, especially in the um, warmer weather. So love coming out here and just getting her um, ingredients for her salad. I have some, I think these are Black Eye Susan plants that came back from last year and 
maybe some coneflower as well. I see signs that flowers are coming here soon. And then guys, my green beans, flowers. I don't see any green beans on them just yet. And then these are my bell peppers. And I thought I saw a bell pepper, um, but I'm definitely seeing flowers. So there's a flower here. And I actually see some peppers coming in on this one. And here it is, there is a pepper over here. There it is. So guys, exciting time is coming in my um, outdoor living space where not only do I come to um, relax and um, take in the beauty of nature, but I come out here to get my ingredients for food as well. I did pick up this. Um, sedum cleaned a couple of days ago i think it was last week and the second one here and i planted it next to my gava plant and guys i got a couple plants this week this is a hydrangea plant it's what i call my rescue plant so this would normally be about 29 to 30 bucks and I got it at my local Walmart for seven dollars so I'm looking forward to this taking root and blossoming here in the coming years this is a second citronella plant that I got um, because this is my lounge area here and um, I thought it would work nicely to keep the mosquitoes away. Um, this is a Colin pine plant that I had taken from up front um, and I bought back here. And guys, this is my little lounge area here. This was a DIY project that I did last year. This is a DIY project that I did last year using some wood to create um, this little seating area and then I um, use a combination of um, these orange pillows that I had um, already in my stash and then I had gotten the two pattern ones um, at Ross and here is what this looks like I did um, last year um, did this little area where I put I sprinkled like some cement just at the bottom of this area and then I used um, some river rocks and some pavers um, just to create this look um, it wasn't anything permanent I still get some uh, weeds and stuff there, but that doesn't really bother me. I just wanted to really keep it down the thing with my outdoor space I'm I want to um, I'm using ground covers like mulch and Combination of rocks and pavers to keep the weeds down But I also recognize that I'm outdoor and I want to Be outdoor, right? I just wanted to keep the weeds down a little bit so I and so I can maintain it better, but I was not going for a weed free environment because again I'm outside and so um, I'm gonna have plants growing in their natural environment and then along this is the other side of um, my stone wall where I just have um, some plants and just some garden items sitting out. Right, let's come alongside this back area here I I did do some work recently um, where I created these I got these pavers 
or bricks um, from my local restore guys all of these bricks were like 16 bucks and I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it but um, for that price I um, I knew I would find some use for it here uh, in my home and it looks like someone was redoing like their fireplace or um, maybe outdoor area um, like they're outside of their home and they took down these bricks and um, I utilized them here I'm probably gonna do a little um, patio extension here not sure yet but I just have this table sitting out here um, just to give some ideas of what I can do here I also thought to do another lounge area but I'm not sure I'm still gathering items either things that I come up with from my garage or that I pick up thrifting so this space is evolving for sure I did recently put um, this drainage hose there because my backyard is on a slope and when it rains really heavy which we did get some rain um, last night that wasn't really heavy but last week we got some rain that was really heavy and um, it gathered alongside here on this side and then it runs down um, this little slope here and so I thought let me put this drain pipe here to see if that takes care of the problem if if it doesn't I may have to do some other things I was looking online and getting some ideas for I think it's called rainscape um, so I may be developing some rainscaping ideas um, if this does not work but this was my temporary fix and I thought it was gonna rain heavier last night so I got I came out here yesterday actually and did this um, but I guess I'll have to wait for another day when we get a heavier downpour um, to see if this actually works this is another my other um, outdoor living space just a um, an area where you can come and sit down and just chill guys so this is an update to my outdoor living space my um, kitchen garden and just a hangout spot um, where my family and I and friends can come and just enjoy the outdoor space it's a really peaceful atmosphere um, and uh, it's ever developing last year this time this was all like weeds <laughs> um, and then I started developing this space la late last summer um, in an attempt to use my outdoor space more and also to cut down on mowing. We didn't get out here much to mow um, as often as we should have. And so I'll let you see. So this back area here um, with all these, um, the grass and the weeds, um, this is what the whole backyard space look like on a regular um, in the summertime and uh, so again it's been developing I just take my time with it I shop my home first to see what I have and then um, as I'm out and about um, thrifting because I am a big thrifter I see what I can get for this space um, to transform it and again it's ever transforming and uh, it may not look like this next year um, or even the end of this summer but I'm excited with the progress so far um, here is some cabbage that I have growing here I did harvest the spinach 
Um, I made some spinach rice earlier this week that I was able to use the spinach um, to do. And guys, earlier I mentioned that I had taken um, the pavers that I'd used for uh, my fire pit um, to do this wall um, over here. And I used some of the bricks that I picked up from the restore um, to build back up this fireplace. So um, it's not completed yet, but it can also, if the fall, um, weather brings it in this condition it's still usable um, the fire pit the in there's a stand down at the bottom that I'm kind of using as a plant stand right now and then there's a another um, inside piece that holds like the wood and so that's sitting in my garage so it's still usable this way if I don't get to build it up um, but I'm in no rush to build it up because I'm not really using it as a fire pit but I imagine around the fall, um, I would have gathered um, some more bricks or so to build that up. Another idea that I wanted to highlight here in my outdoor living space, again, used a lot of things that I had used on the inside of my home, including this lantern that I was no longer using it and it was spending more time in my um, storage closet than in my home so I just shopped my home and I bought it out here I am I had this idea um, this week to kind of use them I have another one over here as well up here to use it as a bird feeder um, to attract I, I have lots of birds in my backyard um, up in these trees and um, I was just thinking about ways to have them, you know, to give them some food back here since they do, um, they do live out here. So that's to come. I recently got some more rescue plants. Um, plants are on sale now, but also we had a gush of um, rain the week before and um, that always bring about rescue plants in my uh, local plant stores. Um, and so I think I got, these are a combination of like four plants and I had gotten them for like 25 cents each. And so I have them here. They are annuals. They're I think petunias and something else. I'm not sure. So they won't come back next year, but that's okay for a dollar. Um, all together I can have it out here um, for this summer and I'm not worried about them not coming back because I didn't have to dig too deep into my pocket for a dollar so guys that's other that is some other tips on me developing my outdoor space thrifting looking for clearance um, looking for um, just deals and so I can have a, a nice peaceful outdoor space without um, sacrificing um, in other areas um, as it relates to um, finances also um, that gives me an idea in terms of time um, I also I was talking to my neighbor um, that was uh, yesterday and he and his wife was um, trying to develop their backyard space and I was just giving them some tips um, about how I just got started a little by little. Um, I didn't do everything all at once but I just as I got and gathered the uh, materials I just created the space again it's ever evolving um, but I didn't um, I didn't do it all at once and that um, was really rewarding for me because I wasn't overwhelmed um, I just took my time or am taking my time to develop this um, the uh, vegetables 
they were most of them were seeds actually all of them were seeds that i had gotten last year the end of last summer and they were like 10 cents a pack of seeds but i was um, doing prep work for this summer where i knew i would use it so again didn't have to spend a whole lot um and i just did a lot of planning so guys i'm gonna stop here and um, give you back some of your saturday um, i hope um, you have been inspired by this video um, or there were some at least some takeaways for you and i'm gonna get started on the food aspect of my brunch all right guys take care see ya